Hello and welcome to the Ignite Podcast. My name is Caitlin Moyes. And I'm Heather Morris. And we're on episode number 31, Bathing Suits and Bikinis, A New Perspective on Beauty. Please, Caitlin, I want to learn a new perspective on beauty. (laughs) Well, I thought this would be a fun one for summertime and I'm always looking for new styles and I'm really taking on like the vintage style now with bathing suits especially. So, and I think that's kind of coming back around in style. I don't know. I don't know, Heather. So, Caitlin, tell me, because you're the style genius, I think, now. <laughs> I'm not the style genius. So, so does vintage mean, um, so with the bathing suits, is it the higher mm-hmm. bottom? Uh-huh. And then the and then it kind of, the band of it goes a little lower on the top? I like those. Yeah, so they call them high waist high-waisted bottoms Mm -hmm. or one pieces now you can find really cute my favorite bathing suit right now is like an olive green and it's a one piece and I love it it looks vintagey and it's comfortable yes I love it I think that the fashion industry in general right now is a little more you can tell with like the different companies that are coming out the places in the mall and like that kind of stuff that they're a little more understanding that everybody has a different um body type Mm -hmm. and everybody has a different style and that it's not everybody doesn't fit in the same Mm -hmm. category with their style so yeah I agree. And I think that we're seeing trends come back around like the 60s and 70s style I feel like is reemerging. Like the rompers and and denim overalls and things like that. My mom was like, man, I wish I would have saved these rompers that I used to wear back in the 80s. Like I should have saved them for you because that's what I love to wear now. And And you know what else they say? They used to call them mom jeans. Yeah. They're like the big jeans now. Are you the one that told me about that? No, but I agree. Like, yeah, they're coming back. I won't wear them, but they're coming back. Everything comes back around. So, okay. And then we want to talk about the evolution of the bikini, which was very interesting. I did some research, Heather, and you watched the video as well, which will be our check it out that Heather will talk about in a little bit. But... Jessica Ray is her name, and she is a designer of swimsuits. You can go on her website, and it's just her name, Jessica, and then R-E-Y. But she has a a YouTube video, and she talks about the evolution of the bikini, where it started, which was in France by a gentleman named Louis Rayard in 1946. And do you know how the bikini got its name, Heather? I do not. <laughs> this is named after Bikini Atoll, which was the first nuclear testing site for the Cold War. And the idea was he thought this bikini idea was going to shake the world because nobody had ever seen the belly button exposed on women before this point in time. That is so interesting because I thought that, and I, it did shake the world though, right? Mm-hmm. It did. But I always thought that it was because bikini sounds like teeny. It does. You it's know what I mean? Bitsy teeny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when this first came out, it was so scandalous that he could not find a French model to wear this. He actually had to hire a stripper to wear and model this first bikini because it was so revealing to everyone around them. And I bet you back then... Mm-hmm. It wasn't showing what bikinis would show, what swimwear would show now. Right. So, so the belly, mm-hmm. right? Yep. It just it shows how far that we've evolved from um, just complete mm-hmm. coverage to now you see bikinis everywhere. Yeah. And then one other thing with Louie, he said, in order for it to be a bikini, it has to be able to slide through the band of a wedding ring. The fabric has to be that small that you can actually, you know, pull it through a wedding band. So that was how 
the bikini was determined as a bikini. Fascinating. I am fascinated, Caitlin. (laughs) That's all my fun facts. Oh, I have one more. Louis worked in his mom's lingerie shop, and he was a French engineer. So that's kind of where he got his inspiration from was to create the bikini from the lingerie that he saw. So that those are all my fun facts about Louis. <laughs> I'm, interested. I'm all with you, girl. Yeah. So and now in today's culture, okay, have you heard of this trend going on? Hot girl summer? Okay. I'm well, shaking my head now. <laughs> well, this is a song from a popular female musician that came out earlier this year and the whole idea is having a hot girl summer looking hot dressing scandalous you know so this is kind of where we are right now in the culture bikini equals power you know women feel like they'll be more powerful if they dress a certain way they get guys attention but in reality from this that YouTube um, video, Jessica was explaining that there's been studies and when men look at women that are dressed more immodestly, certain areas of their brain actually turn off and they tend to look at women as more of objects than as people. Yeah, I mean, I think it's important, too, that we also say, I mean, I know that we're talking about bikini and and beauty, and it's fun to talk about fashion because some of us are women, but I would think that it would be the same with men Mm -hmm. and what they're wearing, you know? Yeah, so it can go both ways. Yeah, I would think that it's important. Um, And there are some men in the world that are, yeah, like not interested yes. in how much you're going to show or that not interested true. in they're embarrassed by it mm. you know mm-hmm. so um that's just something mm-hmm. to really keep in mind when you're thinking like less is more mm-hmm. sometimes more is more mm-hmm. i like that more is more and i think if you're trying to attract a certain type of person um you want them to respect you for who you are and not just the way that you look, too. So that's a big point that we wanted to touch on, too, is, you know, what type of attention do you want to get? You might be getting more eyes if you're dressed a little bit um, more scandalous, but is it is it really the good attention that we're looking for? Caitlin, do you have, like, Caitlin and I spoke about this topic in our own lives. So did you have a story? Like what brought you to this topic? Do you mind sharing? Not at all. Okay. Well, to be honest, I never thought the bikini was anything crazy up until the, like doing research on it. Um, and I, I used to wear a bathing suit, bikini, whatever, and it never really bothered me. I just, put it on and it was comfortable and I liked it because, you know, you could get more sunshine, you get a better tan. But now that I'm a little bit older, I'm starting to be like, I kind of want a little bit more coverage. I don't, I don't want to get certain type of attention. Like, not that I was going for that before, but it's just a, a different mentality now that I have. I just, I feel more comfortable in myself um, and being around other people. If I'm a little bit more covered, I like my one piece now. So I don't know. I just, I see myself kind of going through a transformation. I think that might be like the the purifying or the edifying of the Holy Spirit working in us too. It's kind of like a process. Like as soon as you be, you know, you believe in God, it's not like all of a sudden you're a different person. This has taken close to 10 years now for me just to like see like the progression of like how I'm, I don't know, be, mm-hmm. you know, just becoming a little bit more, what, what would be the word? Like more like Christ, I guess is yes. the ultimate goal yeah. is to be like Jesus and You know, it's taken time, but I kind of see myself going through that process. Mm -hmm. I No, thank you so much for sharing because I had a completely different 
upbringing, um, my mom, like we wouldn't even ask, you know, like I had four sisters, so, um, we wouldn't even ask, like it wouldn't even ever be appropriate to wear anything that was two piece. Um, but I will tell you that I have become a lot happier in my life when I was like your age. And, um, cause quite Caitlin is quite a bit younger than me, but, and I'm a mom and all that kind of stuff. But, um, but you're a fit mom. <laughs> <laughs> I try, do try to work out, but, um, I think that my life just became so much f more free when I started to do things like swimming and going to the beach and that kind of stuff. I grew up near the beach. Mm -hmm. So when I started doing those things for me mm -hmm. and for my enjoyment yes. and, um, that's when I think my mind started shifting from, I want to look great mm -hmm. to, um, I'm having such a good time just being me mm -hmm. yeah. that I look, probably look great. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, I, I just think that's when like, and I feel like Jesus has always been in my heart, but when, I, when it, like my relationship with God started to like kind of evolve mm -hmm. even more. Mm -hmm. Um, and I started to learn more about him, but like, just, it's so nice to just be, um, comfortable yes. in yourself yes. and not be doing what you're doing for show, because this isn't just about being at the beach. This is about when you go to the movies and everybody what likes to look nice. Listen, I like to look nice too, you know, but like, isn't it nice just to like, all right, I did my hair. Now I'm not going to fret over it. You know what I mean? And just go to the movies and laugh and have a good time and being with somebody that doesn't care that you're not, you know what I mean? Like doesn't care what you're showing. They like you for you. And I didn't mean to go off, no, but it just really is part of being comfortable with yourself too. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's huge. So, in terms of choosing a bathing suit that's best for you, I feel like the number one would be whatever it is that you feel most comfortable in, and that that is something that you enjoy wearing. You're not wearing it like how you said, Heather, not for other people, but just because you like it and you feel good in yourself. And then that goes into the, for the right reasons. You know, are you wearing it to draw attention to yourself or are you wearing it because you just enjoy it and, you know, that's it. So I think those are the two things to keep in mind. Is there anything else in terms of um, what you would recommend if somebody's looking for a bathing suit like... I know they have different, like, guides to, like, mm -hmm. dressing towards your body type and stuff. And I think that can be interesting. And they have really cute varieties now, like you said, out there. Like, all different choices be besides just, like, the bikini or the grandma one piece. I think there's quite a variety now. I and I do I'm love those charts. Yes. There's new right. chart. There's charts out. Mm -hmm. And, again, I mean, everybody's body type is different. And I think that the... Um, designers are starting to realize we we need to stop making young people or just people in general, but young people look the way we want them to look and fit in our um, in our box. You know what I mean, or in our bathing suit if we want to say bathing suit. And now they're like, let's give them a variety that that. Uh, flatters any, yes. you know, body type. And then they, then that way a woman or a young person can choose yeah. what they think looks best on them. Yeah. And then in all colors and sizes and right. that kind of stuff. So I really like those charts mm -hmm. that show what would flatter your body yeah. type. Yeah. Absolutely. And then yeah. Caitlin and I want to show you God's perspective and, and you know, in everything in your life. So this is even, we're talking about a fun bathing suit, but right. you know, um, but when you're dating, you really ultimately should be thinking about, is this somebody that I gonna, you know, that God is, wants me to be with, and we're going to have a family together one day and right. have a house and have a future, or there's no reason to be really dating that person. So I just think it's important that they see you in every, every light mm -hmm. and love you in every light. Mm -hmm. So if you're following that, then if you're wearing a one piece, 
-hmm. They think that you're beautiful. Right. They think that you're lovely. Mm -hmm. They know your heart. They know your mind. They know, you know, your thoughts about Christ. And and that's what draws you to them Mm -hmm. or them to you, likewise. So Mm -hmm. does that make sense, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I have... um, I went to another website, and it's called A Lovely Calling, a quote from that, and it said, While we have no physical descriptions of Jesus, we are told in Isaiah 53-2, He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to Him, nothing in His appearance that we should desire Him. So it's saying that Jesus was really just plain looking. You know, we, He didn't concern Himself with the way that He looked, and I think that there is a sense of freedom when we aren't concerned as much about how we look, but just having a nice time and enjoying our life. I mean, Jesus didn't even wear shoes. I like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So I think there's you, that's so right. So um, there's certain things that you bring to us, Caitlin, sometimes that I just never, I just never think of. But you're right. He was plain looking. And that's who God created for mm-hmm. us to follow. And it, it's mm-hmm. just interesting. So, um, and the same with the fact that his parents, his dad was a carpenter, mm-hmm. you know, and he, yeah. he was trained to be a carpenter and, you know, he wasn't anything high of royalty. He didn't have money. He didn't right. have, you know, but he probably created beautiful furniture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but thank you, Caitlin. And again, I would check that out if I were you. It's Jessica Ray, mm-hmm. The Evolution of the Swim Suit, and it's on YouTube, but you can just search it in Google mm-hmm. and it comes up and it's very interesting. And mm-hmm. there you go. <laughs> and you can check out her website too, but I I do love her designs, but they're like $110 a bathing suit, so <laughs> they're they're quite expensive. But there are ones that look similar to, similar to hers that you can find for like $20. Good. I know. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up with the ABCs of salvation. This is just a template or a prayer that you can pray to ask Jesus into your heart. The A is for admit that you've done wrong. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. The B is for believe that Jesus died for our sins and rose again, and he is who he says he is. And the C is for calling on his name by asking Jesus to come into your heart. So if you believe in Jesus, you can ask him to come into your heart. And that is when everything can begin to change then for our lives. And we have that eternal peace in knowing that we're going to be in heaven again one day. Thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, ignite your life.